Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Welcome back to another episode of talking about the four pillars of education. My brain spaced out for a moment there, I don't know why. Um, so today, we're going to be talking about the first of the four pillars, learning to know. This one is one that is actually kind of, if the phrase was more well known, it'd be the, probably the most common one. Um, well, it'd be one of two of the more common ones, mainly because everyone goes through it. Learning to know is kind of, well, the, under, just the, the idea of learning to understand it's accepting and teachings more or less um, it can be a history thing it can be a cultural thing it can be pretty much fallen under any kind of detrimental category or desired category but learning to know it's that particular um pillar of the four pillars of education, I mean, if you're not willing to take the first one, you can't really take the other three. In a way, it starts a chain reaction. Um, it, it, so, like, for example, like, when you start schooling, you go from preschool to to element to well to kindergarten then elementary school, um, to middle school or junior high depending on the person or the school district, to high school, to college, um, or whatever wherever you decide to go after high school. But at the start of all this, there's one thing you always have to be willing to do, and that's learn. The pillar of um, like, to know, y you can't really do live together. I think last time, last episode, I called it just live. It's technically live together. You can't really do live together or be without being willing to learn to do so first. If you're not willing to learn, you well, you're not really abiding by these four pillars, and it's fine. It's technically still an optional thing. But in a way, to know can actually, le learning to know can be kind of impactful. I guess the reason for this has more to do with the fact that when you are willing to learn to know, you're also being very accepting of almost anything that can happen. And there is a large line of things. It's unfortunate for some individuals, though, because in today's society, there are a lot of individuals who... When, you, when they abide by these pillars, they can be willing to learn to know, but some of them have to actually do it for themselves. There are a lot of people out there who, when they learn to know, they can go to another individual who would teach them. Which, in the agreement of teaching, you're also agreeing to that same pillar. Um, even if you've already learned the basics of everything and acted upon, lived upon, and became like everything that you're a teacher for, you basically restart this process by learning from those you teach. I've always, I, I, I actually do believe that the pillar of learning to know is probably the, it probably has the biggest impact on the rest of them. Because like I said at the beginning of this, it's kind of like a chain effect. Uh, domino effect, butterfly effect, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
heavily to the next ones once you officially have gone through the first pillar and subjected yourself to it, you've pretty much agreed to abide by the other three subconsciously. However, I guess there are certain circumstances in contrast that you could always like back out of the idea. There are people in reality who do so but then end up dropping out of the situation they're pretty much backing out of the idea of wanting to do so anymore which teach their own i'm sure everyone has their reasons for those who do do it um but i think it's just kind of a for those who do end up abiding by it i feel like it's more of a self-achieving kind of thing and those who don't probably just don't they, they probably feel like they're not getting anything from it now this is just me reflecting off of different circumstances that I've ha seen other people go through I personally I have a GED I've gone through high school I did some college classes I never really fully finished anything um because of the aspect I just talked about, like I felt like it wasn't going anywhere for me. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Either way around, though, yeah, I, this this is these are kind of my thoughts on the first of the four pillars. Um, what are your guys' opinion? You think anything was missed on this front? If you're a teacher or someone who works under this kind of category, um, did I miss anything? If so, let us know in the comments below. Um, if you are enjoying this series so far, or, or if you've missed out on any of the other videos in it and you're curious about them, click the link on this side of my head and you'll find the rest of it there. Whether it's all of them yet or not, it depends on when you watch this. Um, if you want to check out any other videos that might float your boat a bit more if this is not quite to your liking, why not click the link on the other side? You might find something else that might be a bit more of interest. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone, and hope to catch you guys in another video. Bye!